Hey you guys, I'm back again with another video. Today's wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. This is their 100% virgin hair Remy wig. It has a 13 by 4 lace parting space. The density is 150% and the length of the wig is 20 inches. The texture of the hair is silky and the color is a natural black. This is what the inside of the wig look like. Behind the parting space, you get two combs not too far from the temple, another comb behind the parting space, and one comb in the back with adjustable straps. The lace is Swiss lace. The hairline comes pre-plucked, but the knots do not come bleached. But for this install, we're going to keep the knots black. Here is my beautiful client, Diamond, and do you peep that sexy sheet set on her bed? She sells a lot of them and in different brands for a great price. I'll be sure to leave her contact information below. Off camera, I already went ahead and braided her hair, plus did the ball cap method. <laughs> she looks drunk right now, but it's really late, so she's very tired. But hey, they say pain is beauty. Well, being tired is beauty too sometimes. Sometimes you have to pick between getting up early and losing sleep to look nice for work or getting more sleep and looking like plain Jane for work. But I'm sorry I was in the way. The hairline is a little bit longer than diamonds, so I cut off some of the air tabs, but I'm also making sure I curve around the air so it can lay properly. For this style, we are doing a middle part, so I'm just sectioning off the middle part from now, but I'm also going in with my hot comb to also help it lay flat. Now I'm going to take this Ruby Kisses foundation slash concealer and I'm just going to take both shades in that palette and mix them together. And first I test it out on the cap and I know this is pretty fine. Then I told myself I'm not going to put it all over the cap. I'm just going to do the hairline and the middle part because that's the only thing that will be showing. Underneath the cap I applied some Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 340 only to the hairline and the middle part too. So to help make things a little bit more easier with this insta, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace off from now. And I'm just cutting along the hairline very close, but carefully trying not to cut any of the hairs. I clipped the hair in the front just so it could hold the hairline up just a little bit and the glue that we'll be using today is the Bohold Extreme Cream. It looks a little crazy only because I've been using it a lot. But I'm just going to go in with two layers on this wig but I'm going to start with the forehead first then go in with the sides. And I'm only applying two layers only because she don't want to keep this install in for too long and... Like I said, she tired and want to go to bed so I'm trying to do this as quick as possible but also trying to make it hold.
After the glue dries clear and it's tacky, now I'm just gonna go in and lay the forehead down first, but carefully lining it up with the edge of the glue. You wanna make sure the edges is in the glue, but you don't wanna put it too far back because then you'll see the glue all over the forehead. You gotta make sure it's just right. And then lightly tap it in. After I apply the wig hairline on the glue, I like to lightly pull the hairs on the hairline back. Not too hard because you don't want to snatch the wig off the glue. But whatever I missed, I go back in with a rat tail comb to apply the glue and I'm using thin layers. Try to eye where you missed so when you lay down that part, you don't have too much glue sticking out because it's very hard to clean. And because the layers are thin, once you pop the blow dryer on it, it should dry cool and clear and seconds well clear and tacky you know what I mean <laughs> I didn't realize the camera wasn't recording, but don't dislike this video just yet because the baby ears are looking eh. 
eh. After I cut the baby hairs, I go in and style it with the Nairobi foam wrap. I put a thick amount on the baby hairs because it really helps comb and style the baby hairs more smoothly. I style it thick and long, then I tie it down. After it dries and it's already laying in place, then I comb out the baby hairs to give it that soft look. And then I cut it down shorter and pluck out some of the style baby hairs to help thin it out. That's how I get it to look a bit natural without over plucking it, but you know, getting just the right amount. I didn't record that part on camera because my phone died, but I'll be sure to do it in another video. To straighten the hair, the product I'm using is by Paul Mitchell. It's the Awapui Mirror Smooth. It's a shine and also thermal protectant. And my Babyless Prima on 410 degrees. You can find this at Ulta Beauty or Cosmoprof. Sorry that I'm in the way again. It's because my camera is facing the back, so I'm really not sure when I'm in the way. But I just want to show you guys a few clips on how beautifully this hair straightens. The lace wasn't super blended because we didn't bleach the knots, but eh, it still looks A1. <laughs> Hi, my name is Diamond. I'm the CEO of Diamond Daughters Closet. I just got my hair body by Kira. This wig that I'm wearing right now is from Hair So Fly, and I feel very fly. Hey. And my hair is very soft. It, um, it's not kinky, it's not shedding, um, it has good texture, good quality, and I feel amazing. These lashes that I have on is by me, mm -hmm. um, DDK Beauty mm -hmm. products, and um, the line is coming out soon, mm -hmm. and I thank you, Kira, for no buying me, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, so book her. <laughs> Or you're gonna be ugly. I mean, just oh my god. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. And thank you, Diamond. Bye. -bye. <laughs>